Did you know that Scotland has its very own home of vampires? Welcome to another video from right here in Scotland and today I'm going to tell you all about New Slane's Castle in Aberdeenshire. Hello folks, how are you doing? Welcome to another video right here on my channel. It's great to see you all again. Despite the fact that we're still in lockdown here in Scotland and you know many places around the world, I am optimistic, I am upbeat for a better year to come, all right? But since we are still in lockdown, it is a little bit difficult to kind of go out and make all those adventure videos I like to make, all right? So I had a bit of a brainstorm and an idea. So today's video is a kind of throwback to some footage and some video that I took from a really, really great Scottish castle called New Slane's Castle that I took maybe three, four years ago. Now, those were times on my YouTube channel when maybe only 10,000 people or so, or less than that, were subscribed to my channel. Some of the OGs, and if you are one of those people, massive respect, thank you very much for still being here, basically, all these years later, all right? But back in those days, not many people used to watch my videos. And I feel like a lot of those videos from back in those days, some of them were great, I feel like a lot of those videos have been lost in time and many of you guys who are watching today probably will have never seen them. And that is why I want to kind of go back into the archive and pick out some of the best footage from those days and show you them again in a refreshed edit, all right? So that's exactly what I'm doing today, all right? This is a refreshed edit of a fantastic place called New Slane's Castle. I'm very excited to share it with you, all right? Thank you for being here, everybody. It's great to see you. Hope you're keeping well and safe. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And as we're going through lockdown, and since we've still got a little bit of time left, you know, another thing I thought I would do is introduce some virtual, digital walking tours. I've got a few of them filmed, all right? One of them is already released down below. I'll put a link down below in the top line. I'd love for you to join in, all right? I'm going to be doing more of those walking tours because I want to show you more of Scotland, basically. I'm keeping them as small events for now, but I might open them up into much bigger things in the near future. I'm trying lots of different ideas to make sure that we keep going and we keep sane throughout all of this. All right, like I said, I'm very optimistic for the future, but we still need to keep sane. So I'm doing these walking tours and I'd love for you to join in. There's a link down below. Get yourself registered. Anyway, New Slane's Castle in Aberdeenshire. Let me take you on a bit of a throwback and a bit of a travel through time, you might say. New Slane's Castle, or Slane's Castle, was built by the 9th Earl of Errol, the chief of the Clan Hay, sometime around the year 1597. It's also been reconstructed many times in its history. It had three vast gardens and was a spectacular sight in its heyday, but today it is a roofless ruin. Walking through into the castle's chambers. Pretty cool. Waiting for Tekka to join me. Uh, this looks like a really big castle with lots of kind of corridors and holes and stuff. You can see that from the drone. Cool sky. Yeah. I know. Maybe the sun's going to come out after all. Wow. It's huge. This is a huge castle. This way. Wow, what a place. We could explore here for hours and hours. That. This is amazing. All kinds of turrets and stuff. Take up. It's like a maze, you could get lost in here. What a cool place. What? And with the bagpipes while they're doing the show, that is an awesome backdrop. An awesome musical backdrop for this vlog today here at Slane Castle. And there is a passageway here which leads out into a bigger area on the cliff top. Wow, you need to be careful here though because it drops down. It's flipping amazing, one of the nicest castles I've ever been. There's so much to it, it's so intricate, so many rooms. It goes on and on and on, it's like a big maze, absolutely amazing. Uh, and the sun has come out, which is a shame. I was flying my drone when it was raining earlier, so the shots won't be as good. But wow, in the sun it's just spectacular. I mean, here's a stairwell. 
don't know if it goes anywhere. No, it ends there. There's all kinds of rooms and chambers and stuff. It's amazing. Every time you turn a corner, it's like a new surprise. Thing is, though, I've lost Tapper. Look at that, the rainbow over the castle. You think you can go that way? Guys, check this rainbow out. There's a rainbow up here, just over the castle. Can you see it? I'll focus there behind me. There it is, it starts there. Right over the arch of the castle. In 1913, the 20th Earl of Errol sold the castle, ending his family's 300 year ownership. It was sold to Sir John Ellerman of the Ellerman Line Shipping Company. In around 1925, as with so many other Scottish castles owned by wealthy businessmen at the time, the roof was removed from the building to avoid paying taxes. And the castle soon fell into disrepair thereafter. How amazing is this castle? Amazing. Do you like it? I love it. I can't believe I've never been here before. I can't believe everyone from Scotland has not been here. Look at those rocks. Everything the rocks so down here are so cool. Even the sun's come out. Look at that. Guys, this has been a surprise. Slane's Castle. It's friggin' awesome. Everyone from Scotland or everyone visiting Scotland should come here. It's so cool. Wow, 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 wow. I took an advantage of a quick break in the weather when the sun just popped out for a few minutes. There was a rainbow, so I sent the drone up. And on the phone, the drone footage looks spectacular. We're both very impressed with Slane Castle. That was incredible. Slane Castle is really, really impressive. We're going to take a walk around the building itself now. Uh, we're going to see the back end of it. I could literally explore, explore this castle for hours and hours and the light here is just phenomenal right now. Look at this. Another hallway through here. Yeah. Duck under the castle here. No. Very, very cool place. Another wee room here, look. Here, look at this. That looks like a bottle of pee. It was said that this grand house and castle was a favourite location among many celebrities in its heyday and was an inspiration for writers. Bram Stoker, the Irish author, visited many times and this is where the link to vampires comes from. Stoker wrote the famous Dracula novel and he took inspiration from the Slane's octagonal great room to write about Dracula's Transylvanian castle, creating a fictional story about vampires and the Transylvanian castle from this real castle in the northeast of Scotland. Trying to find our way out of this maze of a castle. Ain't easy. Look at the light up there. Came up quite high now, take us way down there. I'm up on these steps. 
I've been told not it's not really a great idea to climb this castle because a lot of it's kind of still falling down, so I need to be a bit careful. The sun's amazing though. That sunshine through the, the windows, look at that. The sun is shining pretty strong. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have a look, but not without the torch on my phone. Not without the torch on my phone. Let's see. I'm here. I don't think this is clever. What? Are you scared? Wee bit, yeah. You'll be. There's like a big fucking tunnel there. Tunnel? Yeah. Wow. Hello. There is a tunnel in there. Look at that. It goes under the castle. Well, I'm not going in there. Can I see? I can see it from the camera. Do you see down there? People have been there because there's drink bottles and stuff. Ah, Comba. My torch only goes so far. That is crazy. Where does that go? There's like dripping noises and stuff. It's a tunnel under the castle. I'm sorry guys, but I'm not going down there. Take up. It also goes up there as well. It goes down and under. Oh my god. I don't think it would be too sensible to go all the way up these stairs. But, let's go. Ah, there's like a mezzanine level here. Teka. There's like an upper floor level here. With a floor, you can actually walk on. But no danger I'm going down in that tunnel. I went far enough. There's a big mezzanine floor. I'd like to take a moment to invite you to become a member of my Patreon page. For the cost of a dram of whiskey, you'll get access to a range of exclusive membership benefits, including joining in with the community and being able to see my videos early. Check the link in the description below this video. A special thanks to these people who are my top patrons this month.